Bad luck can strike anywhere, even places where we would never think it possible. Are you a fan of Disneyland? The happiest place on earth, right? Well, what if I told you that not all is as it seems behind the scenes at the iconic theme park? The happiest place on earth is known for its good, wholesome family entertainment in a safe environment. But even at Disneyland, accidents can happen. And unfortunately, some of these accidents can be deadly. In this video, we will delve into the tragic story of Marcelo Torres and explore the aftermath of his death including the impact it had on the theme park industry and the lessons learned from this tragedy. Join us as we uncover the story of death at Disneyland, the infamous death of Marcelo Torres. On September 5, 2003, Marcelo Torres and his friends decided to go to Disneyland for a fun day out. While on the Big Thunder Mountain roller coaster, the locomotive derailed and crashed into the tunnel roof causing the back end of the train to hit the roof and then crash down onto the first passenger car. Marcelo was crushed in the accident and died at the scene, while 10 others were injured. Marcelo had been studying to become an animator at Brooks College in Long Beach, California, and was described as a good and obedient kid and a role model to others. He was survived by his parents James and Carmen Torres, this incident shocked the nation and sparked outrage over safety measures at amusement parks. Marcelo's death was one of the most tragic fatalities to ever occur at Disneyland, and it sent shockwaves through the theme park industry. In this tragic incident, one man unfortunately lost his life and 10 other riders were injured when the train cars filled with passengers broke loose from the locomotive and derailed in a tunnel. The lead car, which was decorated to look like a small red engine, was traveling with open-top passenger cars through the faux desert landscape and into the tunnel when the cars separated and the locomotive derailed. Eyewitnesses reported that riders scrambled to get out of the cars and agitated park guests ran out, calling for help. Someone is hurt bad! It's really serious! Get someone up here! Two young men were heard crying as they ran from the site of the accident. This is a truly heartbreaking incident and our thoughts and condolences go out to the family of the man who lost his life, as well as to all of the injured riders. But this death was not just a tragic accident. It was later revealed that Disneyland had been warned about the improper maintenance and the untightened wheel fasteners that resulted in the tragedy, but chose to ignore the warnings and continued to operate the ride. This revelation sparked even more outrage and calls for stricter safety regulations at amusement parks. According to authorities, passengers were trapped in the cavern for up to an hour before being rescued by Anaheim firefighters and paramedics. The park was quickly sealed off and employees in coonskin caps politely kept guests from entering the area. The victim had been identified as Marcelo Torres, a 22-year-old man from Gardena. Emergency workers had to extricate him from the front passenger car. The 10 other riders, ranging in age from 9 to 47, were treated for moderate to minor injuries at hospitals. One of the most severely injured was Vicente Gutierrez, a 22-year-old man from Wilmington who suffered facial cuts and chest injuries, including possible broken ribs. This is the 10th death at Disneyland since it opened in 1955 and the first fatality at the theme park since 1998, when a cleat tore loose from the Columbia sailing ship and struck a visitor in the head. This is also the second serious accident on Big Thunder Mountain since 1998, when a five-year-old boy was badly hurt stepping off the ride. His foot was crushed against the curb when the train lurched forward. The CEO of Walt Disney Company, Michael Eisner, attended a news conference at the park to express his condolences to the victim's families. For the last 50 years, the safety and well-being of our theme park, our guests, and our employees has been and continues to be our top priority," he said. Eisner and the company officials declined to comment in detail. Big Thunder Mountain is a popular roller coaster style attraction that opened in 1979. It is based on the idea of a runaway mine train that speeds through caverns, mine shafts, and Red Rock Buttes. The trains which can carry 32 people are usually made up of five cars and a small engine. After the incident, a passenger train consisting of several cars broke free from its locomotive, causing it to derail at the top of an incline. 
the cars were found at the bottom of the grade, approximately 20 to 30 feet away from the engine. At this time, it is unclear how many cars were involved in the accident or how many passengers were on board. As the incident occurred, riders fled from the tunnel and called out for help to nearby park patrons. Witnesses reported hearing a loud snap before seeing park workers and firefighters running to the scene and injured riders being carried away on stretchers. Emergency crews quickly set up a staging and treatment area near the River Bell Terrace, a nearby restaurant. The scene was chaotic as rescue efforts were underway, with 49 firefighters, four engines, and six ambulances responding to the call. Initially, rescuers requested mechanical jaws to extract injured individuals from the wreckage, but eventually canceled the request and instead requested equipment to stabilize the cars, which were in a precarious position inside the tunnel. It took over an hour to remove the injured riders and transport them to ambulances for medical treatment. Two of the injured individuals were treated at the scene, while the remaining eight were taken to hospitals. Among them was Deborah Guerrero, a 44-year-old woman from San Diego who suffered possible broken ribs. Her 15-year-old son and 9-year-old nephew also sustained cuts and bruises. This is not the first time that an accident has occurred at Disneyland. In 1998, the Columbia sailing ship ride malfunctioned, causing a number of injuries. As a result, the state passed legislation requiring amusement parks to report accidents to the Department of Occupational Safety and Health, which has the authority to order safety changes. Thank you for watching. We hope you learned something new about this tragic event and the dangers of theme park rides. Remember to always follow safety guidelines and use caution when visiting amusement parks.